Okay. Hope you can all see my screen now. All right, thank you. So um, today we'll be talking about peer mentoring. Mm -hmm. So that what we'll be talking about. But before we go into mm -hmm. what peer mentoring is and the likes, I would like anyone, mm -hmm. each of you, like you can just drop it in the chat box. Have you ever been in a situation or have a conversation with someone about a situation that you guys have maybe similar experience. It could be as simple as maybe you just read the book that you share it with a friend, or maybe you are going through a challenge at the moment, and then you share it with the person. So how does it make you feel? You can just put the comments in the um, chat box, or you raise your hand. Okay, go on, Fisayo. Please share your story. Please share, I thought you wanted to speak up. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was muted. Okay. All right, so I was saying uh, most times when I get to learn something new or something interesting, uh, just naturally, I feel, uh, usually I feel motivated to just share with a friend. You know, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Do you know this? So yeah, I always feel uh, enthusiastic to, you know, share with a friend, whatever I'm learning. Okay, so um, Faye Shire says he feels enthusiastic to, share with a friend in um some people they will feel um perhaps excited and if it's like you're going through uh, a situation sharing with a friend or a colleague that you know that you can confide in you make you feel like you're not alone and that feeling goes a long way at least when um solving a problem or a challenge so um similar thing that's how what we are going to talk about peer mentoring so how what mentorship is what peer mentorship is how um having a conversation with friends how it will how it will boost your morale maybe to go on to solve that challenge okay so um okay so guitar says it gives me some encouragement and get some sense of belonging and helps me to compare notes and seek necessary advice so all of those things there are things that comes together on in peer mentoring so now now so the next thing is so what is peer mentorship but before we move into that you have to understand what a mentor is who a mentor is and what mentoring is so a mentor is someone that shares in your know and that shares knowledge expertise or experience like they've um they've encountered or they've gone through and they share all of those their experience with another person who is a mentee so the mentee is in the position like the receiving end why the mentor is at the given end so at the end of the day we have a mentor mentee relationship and mentoring helps to foster um learning and even growth especially when we are navigating our careers, our personal growth and the likes, you have someone that you look up to that, okay, well, then the person guides you. So in such a way that you avoid mistakes. So now we've understand what a peer and a mentor and what a, a women see is, as well as what mentor is all about. But then how come peer mentorship is different from the um, traditional mentor mentee? So, you know, in the traditional mentor mentor relationship, what we have there is someone mostly someone that is far more experienced, that has probably gone, um, experienced all of those things, have more knowledge, and then is sharing with, with a junior colleague or a junior. And most times, this other uh, mentor is in a senior position. That is for the traditional mentor mentee relationship. But with peer mentorship, it is a bit different in the sense that a peer mentor 
you can think of a peer mentor like someone that is maybe a friend or a coach or a companion that you guys have similar things in common but then again you come together to um to share the knowledge that you have given like sometimes probably when you are dealing with a particular challenge some person like among the two of them one person may be knowledgeable in a particular aspect while the other person may be knowledgeable in another different aspect and then they come together to share this their experiences their knowledge with each other to foster um goods and even to navigate their different challenges and they cultivate their skills to thrive in their respective goals so that is what peer mentor is now we said the peer mentor you think about them like a friend or um a companion or a coach now we have to understand what peer mentorship is not so it's not a position where you be like oh in a relationship where the mentor you have to like discipline the mentee that is not what peer mentorship is about so here each person for example if we have two persons that is it was the mentor and the mentee so each person in different situation we act we will serve as the mentor and in different situation that same person can also be a mentee so the relationship is mutual is mutual so you cannot um one person cannot be like the commanding and be like you want to discipline the next person so that's not what peer mentor is about and it is not a codependent relationship where your mentor will be acting like a therapist for you no that is not what it's about and it's you cannot see the person as someone that is there to save your career i is that the person is there to so we are there to help each other navigate your challenges so that you'll be so that you get um solutions to whatever it is but one thing even when you say peer mentorship um you should look at the person as your friend a colleague there should be what boundaries should be put in place such that you know that okay well, this is what the person um these are some things i should not cross some boundaries should be set in place so yeah then we have mentor mentee features now we've said peer mentorship is we have the mentor we have the mentee which could be the same person depending on different situation so here a mentor is the one that is willing to teach or that is willing to coach while the mentee is the one that is what's willing to um to learn and then the mentor you also um you help they help to gain um, others to gain confidence and then um the mentor mentee you have to understand like you have to understand how to give constructive feedback and how to accept criticism as well so and this pm a uh, mentor mentee relationships is also helps to foster time management even offers proper guidance and support and even um team meeting because you guys will have to like come together to discuss okay well, this is what we are facing now should we go about it so and all of those things you have to develop different strategies to to combat the challenge so that is what some of the features of a mentor mentee then we have how we build effective mentor mentee relationships so when you want to build a um, mentor mentee relationship some some things should be in place you should be able to build trust and even respect each other then also you share your experiences and your perspective you should be free with each other and as we've noted a peer mentor you will see the person as a colleague as a friend also then you should be able to offer and accept feedbacks and then when we are giving feedback it should be in a constructive way such that you um you give it in an empathetic way not that you be in a commanding or you be so criticizing of the person so feedback should be constructive and when they are giving feedback to the next person the person on the receiving end too should be open to criticism because that's how you grow then the feedback should also be encouraging and challenging as well and you have to be patient and consistent and then when you set meetings and follow-ups you have to go through each of those things you have to follow through your planned and um, meetups and the likes so now 
So what are some of the benefits of peer mentoring? So from peer mentoring, what do you think? What do you hope to gain? So far, we've understood what peer mentorship is. And some of our, some of you might have guessed, you have to like peer um, people together, which we've done. So what do you hope to gain from this peer mentoring? You can raise up your hand and answer. So what do you hope to gain from peer mentoring? As we've seen, like the UTJ it has been challenging in some cases and some people have had it easier than others. So what do you hope to gain from your, um, from your peer? Anyone? Nobody wants to speak up. Okay, so you hope to gain um, support. That is part of it. Yeah. Career guidance, more experience. Okay. So, yeah, so all of these things, those are some of the things that you gain from peer mentorship. So here we have, you have enhanced academic performance, which in this case in um, U2J, your challenge is you have more, um, someone to share your challenges with. So with that, it will boost your performance. And then, you know, with this place, we have people from um, Nigeria, we have others from Kenya, from Ethiopia, and you don't know who you'll be paired with. So from there, also there's cultural diversity as well. And then you'll be aware of some of the persons um, culture as well and then it increases retention and persistency because as you go through the challenges you realize that there are some cases where you want to just oh i'm tired let me just leave it for some time but when you know like you have you are not working alone you have someone that is working with you and probably you guys have shared the tax or you have um, some deadlines to beat amongst yourself so you have it to give you what more um you'll be more motivated to complete the tax and you'll be more persistent. So peer mentorship also enhanced networking and social connections, as well as personal growth and development. So we'll talk more about the personal peer mentorship can help our personal growth and our development. So here, peer mentorship, it enhances our leadership and development because as you have been a peer mentor, as you have being paired with your mentor, you act as a mentor as well, and not just as a mentee. So you being a mentor, you have to guide other people, like the other person. So this peer mentorship will give you an experience of being in the leadership role. And then it will enhance your communication and even active listening skills, which are all good effective communication skills. Because for you, you then you'll be able to, um, to communicate in a concise and even a clear manner for your for your partner to understand what it is that you are explaining, what challenge you are going through. And if the person is giving a feedback, you have to learn how to be um, listening, like actively listening to get what the person is saying. So this peer mentorship also enhances effective communication skills and also your problem solving and critical thinking as well. And it helps you in time management and organization. So that's what peer mentorship is about and um, what peer mentoring is. So now let's go on to the challenge. But before we do that, I would like to make an announcement that um, I posted on the broadcast yesterday that about the um, spreadsheet that contains different groups. Let me go on and share it. And the link is the same. Give me a minute. Okay, so I assume most of you were already. Okay, so it's something like this. And these are the, the groups. So for the group one, you find your name here and your email. And like that, like that for the group two. So the people in group one, we have courage, we have Jessim, and we have Yapsiga. You may not pronounce the name correctly. So if you are in group one, you reach out to your colleague either on Slack or via email. You can reach out to them on Slack. If they don't respond, then you can send an email to them. So each person's email is there and their um their names are on the list too. So you can reach them out to them on Slack. 
as well. So this exercise is something that like you have to do together. So it's not like a moment thing, like the other challenges has been. So now let's go on to our challenge for the week. So it's just a series of exercises, and it's actually very interesting if you look at it, because all it has to do is you meeting someone and then you um, to give you an opportunity for you to have a partner that you discuss your challenge with. Trial the session does not have to just be for this and uh, with two alone. So the person you appeared with, you can continue even through the um, entire training to learn together, to put, um, communicate and the likes. So it's not just for with two alone. So yeah. Okay, let me see. Okay. So so as you said before, like a mentor is someone that guides you. So here is just like you should imagine if where you be how you navigate your destination if there was no GPS highest like at best you just be by the roadside within trying to navigate the maps and which will be time um consuming so it's similar with having a mentor to to navigate your professional growth and even your personal growth so here your peer the person you've been paired with so you have to um you, you serve as a gps to each other figuratively so then so we've talked about who a mentor is and what peer mentoring is all about. You can go through all of this to read more about what it is all about. Then to excel as a peer mentor, it is important to focus on key, on several key principles, like you have to build trust and respect, share experience, offer feedback. We've explained all of those things. So yeah, now, what is the expected outcome of this challenge? is for you to have a supportive partner that will enable you to be more engaged and accountable throughout this training period. Because as you can imagine, the training can be um, challenging to some people, such that when you get to, say, week five or thereabouts, you may even want to give, um, to give up or so drop out of the training, like, mm, after all, yeah, you don't have anything to lose or some, some sort. But once you have a partner, an accountable, accountability partner, someone that will be checking up on you and you guys will be solving those challenges together. So you'll be able to um, be more disciplined and complete the entire training. So as well, it expands your professional network by connecting with colleagues and also learn how you learn how to give and receive constructive feedback. So yeah, you can reach out to me or Aaron or any of the other tutors. And the deadline for the submission is Friday, 8 p.m. UTC. So it's Friday, the deadline is Friday, 8 p.m. UTC. And you know, we have the we have um late submission principle and early submission if you submit early, like you submit earlier than say 24 hours that is if you submit before 8 p.m utc on thursday which is tomorrow then you have a bonus mark but if you submit any time from um after 8 p.m on thursday then you will not have any bonus but then you don't have any deductions as well so let the deadline is on friday 26th of april 8 p.m and so this is the task you have to do. The first thing is a virtual meetup before you come up with the um, write-up or what you submit. So now for this exercise, you have been paired with your colleague and the list is there. Oh, let me put the let me put the link here. Just give me a minute. Okay, so yeah, so you've been shared and you can find the list here. So before the meeting, this is what you have to do before the meeting. You can do a quick search of your peer on LinkedIn and you know their names are there. So once you've done the um, findings on LinkedIn, you check their qualification, their schools and all of those things. Then you should also be careful to respect their digital privacy, not like you go diving into maybe their Facebook account, trying to come up with all oh, their family members and the likes. No, this should just be um, professional. 
They should prepare a list of five tailored questions to ask during the meeting to gather insight into the peer's tech background, their experience, their challenges in ten academy, and all of these um, questions. It could even be from your own personal experience as well. Like, what challenges have you faced in your ten academy that you think the person who has faced, or any any other question? Just be flexible. Come up with questions that you are interested in. Then afterwards, you reach out to them and you schedule a Google Meet on the time that is convenient for both of you, not just for yourself. You know, you're not doing this alone. So you decide on the time that's convenient for the two of you or three in some cases. So during the meeting, you introduce yourself, you should demonstrate um, curiosity and you should be enthusiastic as well. Then you get to know your peers' strengths and weaknesses, just have a conversation. Then after that, the conversation could be about anything, but keep it simple. Then just be free. Then after you've um, met up with the person after the meeting, then you have the documentation. And for this, you have to come up with um, you'll be answering these seven questions, and then it will be on a six-slide PowerPoint. But the PowerPoint will be converted to PDF format, so that that's what you'll have to submit on the um, Tenex. So here, your report should answer the following questions. So what ch challenges did you have before, during, and before and during the preparation of your meeting and how did you overcome these challenges? So it could be from you navigating um, how to set up a Google Meet in case if you don't know how to set up a Google Meet or perhaps coming up with um, coming up with a convenient time for both of you. Any other challenges around how, any challenges you faced before the meeting or even during the meeting, maybe your internet was out, any of those challenges. I'm not saying you should use some of my suggestions or you should limit yourself to my suggestions just be flexible whatever challenge you have then you should write down a short bell of your peer according to how they introduce themselves so here you'll not be writing about yourself you'll be writing about your peer the person you appeared with then you should list write a list of five questions you asked your peer and their answers to them then a list of five questions your peers asked you as well. Then what are the five things you learned or benefited from this exercise and how they might benefit your career in future? Then what is your call to action? Did you exchange contact on social media? Did you go for that or any other thing, any other schedule after um, the main Google Meet? Or did you agree to be checking up on each other frequently, solving challenges together throughout the training, any other um, call to action or any other thing you have? Then on the last slide, you should attach a screenshot of both of you with your clear cameras just to verify. So that is that. And all of this should be to, it should all be in one, six slides. It should not exist six slides. So that's what you have to submit. And your report should not include personal details related to conversations you had with your mentee. Because even if you had those conversations, it should not be included here. So those personal stuff should be kept personal, depending on how the rapport between you and your peer. So the submission deadline, as we said before, is on Friday. So the submission deadline is on Friday. And then 8 p.m. You should submit it on 10x. So um, before I continue, so when you want to make a submission, it should be in the PDF format, and it is the link. And please always, always make the link um accessible for us, so that we don't have to be sending a request for you to make the link, um, the document accessible for us. So just make it public such that anyone with the link can access it, can view the documents, not necessarily edit the documents, but can just view the documents. So this is uh, the delete policy, which I've explained earlier, and then the tutorial, and then you have a grade and a feedback. So moving on to the marking rubric, how you'll be judged. So here, the quality of the questions, the questions should be inquisitive, they should be curious, indicative of general efforts. 
There's the quality of analysis. To what extent was there reflection on the discussion you had? Then did you set up an actual meet and the quality of your writing? This has to be with um it has to do with the point you raise, the conversation, and even your grammar. So yeah, that is what this is about. So any questions so far, any suggestions, any feedback? So I think most of you have gone through the peer um the peering. So if you do not find your name there, just reach out to me. Or perhaps um, if the person you appeared with does not respond by the end of today, you can also reach out. So yeah. So that is that about that. Any questions? Okay, go on. Go and ask your question, Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, where can I find uh, the sheet? Uh, what is it? Where can I find the sheet? The the sheet. Okay, I'll send the link here. Okay. But it's also on the Slack channel and it's also on. Okay, the document will be pinned on the Slack channel for week two. So in the document, you can find it there. And in the document, let me. Okay, so here. If you just click here, it should link, it should direct you to the Excel sheet. If you click here, yeah, it should direct you to the Excel sheet where you'll be able to find your pair, the person you've been paired with. Okay. Uh, how, uh, how do I know my peers? How do or... you know your. Yeah. I've not get your question. Please come again. Uh, the names on the one uh, on the sheet are okay, are okay. we on one group or how how can okay, I no. members my peer members? Okay, so um, let me share this tab. You can see the sheets now. So this is what you should do. You just once is open, just press Ctrl F. And once you press Ctrl F, let me search your name. Yeah, page. If I'm correct, if I'm correct. Oh, your name is not on the list. What's your email? You can use your email to search. The email will be more accurate, actually. So you can use your email to search on the on the sheet. Let me see. Let me, for example, if I'm to search, let me see. Okay, if I want to search for cheese or bar, just type in cheese. Oh. Okay. Okay, so here. This is this is your name, right? Mihari, if I'm correct. Okay, so once you've um you press control F and then you search for your name. So here now you are in group 37. So you reach out to um Munhaimi and Bernice, you are in the same group. So if you reach out to them on Slack. So that's how you just search for your names. And then if you do not find the, your name, you can search using your email. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So any other question? What about challenge documents? They it will be um, pinned to week two, and it will also be the Link will be shared on week two, but I can also share the link here with you just so you have it. Okay, so it's in the chat box as well. Please go on. Well, um, yeah, please. Where do we get the pair to pair um document? Okay, so um, the challenge document I just shared it on the chat here, but it will also be 
pinned on with suit of our channel, the youth J channel, it will be pinned there and it will be shared also in the broadcast. So you'll have you have it there. So okay. once it's there, you can just check for your peer and then you go with the challenge. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, please. Are we also supposed to have a LinkedIn account? Okay, so is at this stage, I would advise you create a LinkedIn account if you don't have one because it's like your professional account. But if you don't have a LinkedIn account, you can make use of your Twitter as, as well. But just open up a LinkedIn account. It's actually good. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Gitere, go on. Okay, Wola, go on. Hello. Yes, I was going to ask, how do we deal with an um, unresponsive or inactive partner? Okay. Okay. So, um, in some groups, we have two persons. In some, we have three. So, you reach out to the whatever number you have. You reach out to them on LinkedIn and um, on Slack. I mean, you reach out to them on Slack, and then you also send an email to them. So, by the end of today. If they do not respond, just let me know so that I'll have the list of people that are not responding and then I can regroup. All right, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So any other question? Okay. Zero five. Go on. Yeah. So, can we create a meeting with the Academy team or uh, for, uh, we can select one person from the given data? I've not got your question. Please come again. I can hear you. Please come again. So, can we select one person from this or uh, we can uh, contact with the Academy team. Okay, so um or meeting. Okay, so I have not really understand your question, but I'll go on and answer. If I'm correct, you let me know. If you answer the question, let me know. So the the exercise you have to have a peer, you cannot do so, and I've grouped each person to their groups. So you reach out to people that are in your group and you reach out to them, then you create a Google Meet. So you learn how to create your Google Meet and then you meet with the person. Like you have a meeting with the person, a conversation with the person. So before you meet, you have already generated the four questions that you asked them. So yeah, I, but you cannot make um your thing if the person you have to meet cannot just be any person of your choice, it has to be the person that you've been paired with. Do you understand? So um Zerufi, did I answer your question? Yes, I did. Okay, all right. So any other questions? Any other questions, suggestions? Okay, we are gone. Sorry, that was from the other time. Time I just okay. put my hand down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so if there are no questions, no suggestions, I assume we understand what the tax is about and what is expected of us. So let's get back to doing our challenges and the likes. So if you have any questions, you can ask in the Slack. You can reach out to me. So have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Thank you.